today we'll look at how to use assembly load options. There are two ways to get to the assembly load options. The first is through file options. The second is on the file open dialog. Starting at the top of the dialog, part versions defines where to look for the associated FEM if opening a SIM or where to look for components if opening an assembly. As saved supports putting files in different folders and remembers where they were when they were saved. If you move the files, it won't find the associated files like the FEM when opening the SIM. From folder is my favorite. All the associated files must be in the same folder and it will only look there for the files. Search folders will search in specified folders. Here I've specified D users dot dot dot. If you put a dot 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 at the end of the path, it will not only search in D users, but also search in all subfolders under D users. I don't recommend this if you have a complex directory structure under D users, as this can take a long time to search if there are a lot of subfolders under D users. The scope load is more applicable to loading CAD assemblies rather than simulation files. It will support loading the assembly structure only or will load some components but not others. My favorite is all components. The scope option has more flexibility to support quickly opening very large assemblies. If you're wave linking or promoting in your iPart, I recommend selecting fully load. Load inner part data is important to have on for the same reason. If you are wave linking or promoting in your iPart, this is inner part data and needs to be loaded at all levels. Saving these settings as the default will remember them for the next time. I recommend you select this also so you won't need to set them again next time. In the demonstration, we'll look at two examples where we'll open the SIM but not have the load options set correctly. So the first time we try to open it up, it's saying we have an invalid path to a folder that does not exist. This can happen if you move the files that you're trying to open. So let's close all of the files and open it again, but this time we'll set some assembly load options. Now if we look at the folder where the files reside, what we'll notice is that all of the associated files are in the same folder. So we want to select the assembly load option from folder. This way it will only look in that folder for all of the associated files, even if we had moved them. So here you'll see not only the sim opens as it did before, but also all of the associated files. Now let's look at another example. In this example, the associated files have been arranged into subfolders. Now I don't recommend organizing your files this way, but it's possible, but you'll need to make sure that you set the correct assembly load option. Since we had it set to from folder, it said that it can't find the associated files in that folder. So here are only the files that resided in that folder because of the way we had our assembly load option set, were loaded. So now if we take a look at folder 2, here you can see that our bracket, FADEC, and fan case associated files are all in subfolders. So if our files are organized in this fashion, we'll need to make sure we have the correct assembly load option set to be able to find and load all of those associated files. So here we want to change this to from search folders. And you'll see by default we'll have that D users dot dot dot, which we don't want. And what we do want is to be able to search in folder 2. And we also want to search all of the subfolders. So we need to put that dot 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 in there. Then we'll hit the plus sign to add that directory path. And then we'll remove the D users so it doesn't take forever to find the files. All right, so here you can see with the correct assembly load option set that it's able to search and find all of the associated files in the subfolders. 
Using the right assembly load options for how your simulation files are organized will allow you to successfully open all your associated simulation files at once.